Buffalo. Okay, it is great to be here, and especially for an occasion like this. It is such a privilege and joy to see this project and all that it means for uh, not only Buffalo, but Western New York. And I want to thank my friends and colleagues, Senator Schumer, Congressman Higgins, Erie County Executive Chris Collins, and of course, Mayor Brown. And acknowledge Larry Quinn of the Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation and Ken Schatz of the Empire State Development for all their hard work. This has truly been a labor of love. All of the people before you, plus so many others, have seen this vision and been committed to making it a reality. In a few minutes, we're going to walk to the center of the Whipple Trust Bridge and reenact that famous ceremony which took place 183 years ago. When the governor at the time, well named Governor Clinton, <laughs> traveled the length of the Erie Canal and down the Hudson River. He carried with him two casks of water collected from Lake Erie and after that long journey he was able to wed the waters of the Great Lakes and the Atlantic Ocean. It was an improbable triumph. When one thinks about how ridiculed Governor Clinton was at that time when he said we can connect up New York City and Buffalo and people called it Clinton's ditch. But the construction started and it continued. And it took so many immigrant workers and so many leaders who never ever wavered. Local economies boomed, commerce exploded, and Clinton's ditch became one of the greatest infrastructure achievements in the history of the world, transforming the American economy and ushering in unprecedented growth for upstate New York. Today, the Erie Canal still excites our imagination, and it still can drive our economy creating new opportunities and jobs. I'm very proud to support the redevelopment of the Erie Canal Harbor, and I know that the progress we're celebrating today will continue. I've traveled over the last 17 months across our country, bragging about New York, and talking about all that we have to offer, everything that New York stands for, and contributed to this country over the course of our lifetime as a nation and all that is yet to come. I am as convinced as I can be that as we see the progress here in the inner harbor, the outer harbor, we're going to see the revival of Buffalo continue. It's been exciting to work to obtain funding for the historic lighthouse in the outer harbor. And along with Congressman Higgins, I propose that the U.S. Coast Guard move their facilities in Buffalo to open up the harbor to economic development. I'm hopeful that our proposal will be passed into law. That's another huge opportunity for Buffalo. As we wed the waters today, I think about all of the people who worked hard for this moment. I see our former mayor here and the former county executive and so many others who crossed party lines, crossed county and city lines to join hands to say Buffalo must once again regain its position as a great American city. That's not only important for the city itself, but for the surrounding region. So these new partnerships between the public and the private sector, between local universities and local businesses and all levels of government says clearly to me that yes, it may be challenging, but we are up to the challenge. We've never been short on either hard work or resolve. That's what was proved by previous generations of New Yorkers and Buffalonians, and that is what is being proved again. I'm excited because I see the future very, very positively. We're having a challenging time, not only here in Buffalo and Western New York, but across our country. But all that is really awaiting to happen is that we just roll up our sleeves and get to work. That's what we've done on this project. That's what we're doing on other projects together. And that's why I believe that we're going to see 
the future of Buffalo as bright and positive as many of us hope for. I'll be your partner and your advocate in all of those efforts. Thank you all very, very much.